We're ready. What's going on today, guys? So today I'm going to be talking to you about how to connect your KRK Rocket 8 G4s to a computer. Um, and this video is going to go for all KRK um, Rocket G4s, um, all KRK Rocket monitors, and really any studio monitors for the most part. Um, I guess it depends on, on their specs, but for the most part, this is pretty much how you hook up monitors to a computer. Um, whether you're a musician, producer, or you just love to listen to music in high fidelity, uh, you'll really love these monitors. They're great. Um, the one thing to be aware of is that monitors are much different than regular speakers that you might be used to. The hookup is a bit different, um, especially if you're used to, you know, the speakers that you might have out in your living room with your TV or little computer speakers that you may have had back in the day. Um, these are different. They can be fine-tuned a lot better. Um, they're just, you know, a lot more in-depth. I guess that's the best way to say it. Let's move around to the back so I can kind of show you what's up over here. Um, so as you can see, uh, they don't have your typical stereo inputs that you're probably used to. Uh, they actually use TRS XLR female outputs. So this is the balanced input, excuse me, balanced inputs. And uh, you have, you can either fit the three pin XLR, which is what I have, or you can fit the TRS quarter inch cable as well. Um, there's small differences between them, some people will say. Um, but that's for another video. Really, in, in, in your case, you can use either one. It doesn't really matter. Um, and let's move around to my Mac, because I want to show you here what the issue is with hooking these up regularly. Now, with, with normal speakers, um, kind of consumer-style speakers, it's pretty easy to just get uh, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable um, that's a male on both sides. And that'll just go from your speakers into here, voila, you're good to go. The thing is, with these, or with, with this particular headphone jack, you're going to need a quarter inch or XLR to 3.5 millimeter male plug. Great thing is, they're very, very cheap. And when I say 3.5, this is what I'm talking about. This small thing right here, you probably recognize it from the headphone jack on your phone or MP3 player. It's the same thing, it goes into your computer. They have them for pretty much every computer, so um, it's really easy to pick up. Uh, but that's the best bet. You're gonna wanna get um, uh, one of those. Otherwise, you can get an interface, but um, most people aren't going to want to spend the extra money to get an interface, so if you're looking to hook it up straight to your computer, that's pretty much what you can do. Um, for professionals, however, if you are into production, I would highly recommend getting an audio interface. This is because audio interfaces, and this one is the Apollo Twin, they have A to D converters that are a lot stronger. That's analog to digital converters meaning your sound will come through stronger. Um, you won't need to pump as much volume out of these to get uh, the sound that you want. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's highly recommended. Plus, it's just gonna sound better if you're recording or producing. Um, otherwise, you know, just get a female TRS to male 3.5 millimeter and you're pretty much good to go. Um, and that's, that's gonna be with most, uh, pretty much all computers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, um, if you have any other insights uh, into how you can hook these up, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Alrighty, take it easy, you guys.